<laughs> so, has anybody been skydiving lately? <laughs> now, come on, there's no better social distancing than jumping out of a fucking plane, I'll tell you that much right now. I got a call the other day to go skydiving, a buddy called me and he said, I said, I don't want to go. I still got PTSD from 25 years ago I went skydiving. And I just got done playing bad guy for the Australian Special Forces. I was posing as an eco-terrorist, because that's the kind of people we used to fight before fucking Bin Laden, all right? It was Bond villains, that's all we came up with when we were doing this shit. So they said, you get a yippee jump, mate. And I said, what the fuck is a yippee jump? They said, tandem jump 15,000 feet with the SAS. Fair enough, fair enough, sounds great. Where's my jumpsuit? Just wear what you're wearing. I'm wearing rugby shorts. Rugby shorts for the uninitiated short shorts, they're like hot pants. I'm wearing rugby shorts, a tank top, and flip flops. They said, that'll do, mate. <laughs> then they introduced me to the guy who's going to jump with me. He's a fucking six foot seven sergeant major named Bruce. Bruce comes up to me and goes, son, how much do you fucking weigh? Now, I'm a bit smaller than I was back in those days. I'm a bit bigger now, but I was smaller back then. But I'm still a big bloke. And I said, I weigh about 260 pounds, sergeant major. And he goes, fucking awesome. He says, me and you, we're going to fucking plummet. We'll be down before anybody else. I'm like, shit. So I get strapped to Bruce, and we head up to 15,000. It's fantastic because he reminds me every 5,000 how high we are. It looked like we're at 30,000. Ah, it's just five down, mate. Got another 10 to go. I'm like, for fuck's sake, I'm having a heart attack. We're about to jump out of the plane, but I've got a secret that Bruce doesn't know. I'm free balling in those rugby shorts. <laughs> and I had to make some super decisions when I put them on. And I had to figure out where I was going to put everything. And I went with the meat and two vegetable approach to line up my junk, put everything on one side and put the harness on the other. We get hurled out of the plane. My balls get sucked to the side of my thigh at terminal velocity straight away. 145 miles an hour for 45 seconds. I'm yelling out, my nuts, my nuts, my nuts. <laughs> Fucking Bruce is behind me going, yeah, this is crazy, this is fucking nuts. <laughs> We're hammering down faster than a fucking space shuttle because everybody else is way the hell up there. We're grinding, going and down. This is burning the shit out of me. I'm like, pop the shoot, pop the shoot, pop the shoot. He pops the shoot. I'm like, thank fuck. I can reach down and tuck him back in. <laughs> no, I can't because Bruce is six foot seven. I'm done up like this with a fucking harness with the world's best wedgie right now. I can't even reach. My hands are like this. I'm like, how bad could it get? Just give me, just, this is, it can't get any worse. And then I look down and I see the 2000 elementary school kids who are on the ground. And all I can see are my battered red nuts as we drift slowly to the ground. The kookaburra is the most majestic bird in the upper. I don't have segways in Australia, you're not going to get me. The kookaburra is the most majestic bird in the outback. Ma'am, can you give me your best Australian accent? The kookaburra is the most majestic bird in the outback. Right, real quick. Somebody! Somebody! Kookaburra is the most majestic bird in the outback. See, this bullshit right here is the problem, right? This is the problem. I came out here to audition for, as the narrator for the Australian IMAX movie. And I was told that my, the kookaburra, is the most majestic bird in the outback. It's too fucking Australian for the Australian IMAX movie. Well, I came out here to steal a perfectly good American job from one of you, and an American stole my Australian job from me. So, so, and the lady who called me British, we're going to fix everything right now, okay? I'm going to give you all an Australian accent tonight, okay? But you have to repeat these three words after me in your accent. Not trying to sound like me, in your own natural accent. Good, I, and might, as in Brennan might book me on one of these shows again. Put them all together. Good, I, might. Oh, shit, it makes me feel like I'm at a bar in Sydney again. My name's Dan Green. Thank you very much. Yeah.